So, Mr. Vassar, my apologies. My colleague Amy Hilton informs me that I did not, in fact, get the joke. The, the joke here is this is a coloring book. It says, and I encourage anyone to look it up, it's the Going Rouge Sarah Palin Rogue Coloring and Activity Book, right? That sounds right. Does that look like it? Um, I don't recall exactly, but that could be accurate. And the joke is that Sarah Palin is so dumb that she can't spell rogue, right? Um, that wasn't my understanding of the joke. I, I believe my recollection is that when I found a coloring book about going rogue, that was why I sent it to this group chat. I don't recall any specific reference to Sarah Palin. That's the context of the joke, but the joke of the coloring book here is it's supposed to say going rogue, and it says going rouge, and it's Sarah Palin can't spell rogue, LOL, right? I, I can't really see your phone, but I, I'll take your point. Would you like me to approach so you can see it? Uh, that's May up, I, up to the president. I see it. That's the one, right? I can't recall specifically if that is the one that's linked in this text message. But the context of the joke within the text chain is it's about you going rogue. And the reference is an oblique reference to Ken Paxton calling you rogue employees, right? Yes, sir. And so the same information that got you very upset yesterday about being called a rogue employee looks like three weeks or so after it happened, you're joking on a text chat with your friends about it and showing them the going rouge coloring book, right? That's... Do I have it? What happened? Yes, sir. There's nothing less funny than someone who explains the joke, but I think I have it now, right? I'm sorry. Say that again. There's... I think I have it now, right? That was the context of the joke. I explained it. True? Um, yes. At the time, circulating a Amazon link to a coloring book about going rogue was what had happened. 